Godzilla Planet of the Monsters. So, just so you guys know, I'm not exactly a huge fan of anime. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I don't like anime, it's just that I'm not as big of a fan as anime as most people would be. In fact, the only anime I ever watch is Pokemon. Yeah, that really says something. So the fact that Godzilla got an anime really, really says a lot. So, without further ado, let's review Godzilla Planet of the Monsters. First of all, let's talk about the plot. I actually love the plot, because believe it or not, this is actually pretty original for a Godzilla movie. First of all, if you want to know what the plot is, basically all of the world's monsters, Orga, Kamakuras, Nagura, you know, the usual kaiju, basically destroy planet Earth. Then Godzilla came along, and humanity's all like, okay, fuck this shit, we're out. And then they went off to colonize another planet. But that colonization plan failed, so they went back to Earth to take back their planet. And Godzilla is not gonna... It's not gonna be so happy. But yeah, I do love the plot. It's pretty original for a Godzilla movie. But what about the characters? Because where there's plot, there's characters. Well, I would say that the characters... Uh, I mean, I mean, I guess the characters are alright, although I would say that most of these characters are a little bit one-dimensional. I mean, I guess in some parts they are kind of getting character development, but overall the characters seem pretty bland. But they're not exactly bad, so I'll just say that the characters are alright. Speaking of characters, what about Godzilla? Well, Godzilla was pretty badass in this movie, even though he pretty much moves slowly. But still, I do love Godzilla's new design. I mean, apparently, not a lot of people like this new design, but I love it. I mean, it looks pretty cool. What I don't love about Godzilla is his new plant origin. But then again, that's just me being nitpicky. I'll just probably get used to it by the second movie. But anyways... But what about the animation, since we're talking about Godzilla design? Well, the animation is pretty decent, I guess. I mean, from the anime I saw, Pokemon. Um, I guess you could say this animation is alright. Sometimes I forget that this is a 3D anime instead of a 2D anime. So some scenes look like it's made out of 2D, but then in others, it's 3D. I guess it's a combination of both, even though I've heard that this is a fully CGI anime. But yeah, overall, Godzilla Planet of the Monsters is a pretty decent entry into the trilogy. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is part of a trilogy. So overall, as the first entry of the trilogy, I'll rate this 8 out of 10 stars. Oh yeah, you wanna know my thoughts on the new Mecha Godzilla? I mean, that looks like a bug, not Mecha Godzilla. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.